Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tool bag review and tour of the sort of stuff that I carry on a daily basis. This is the Velocity Pro Gear Rogue 2.0. This is a plumbing bag as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a service bag according to the website, but I don't use it for servicing as such. I've had this bag for probably about four years and I use it every single day. This is my main plumbing jobbing bag. This comes in with me on pretty much every job and I just think it has been a great bag. Um, I've never really had an issue with it. There's obviously some negatives that I'm gonna talk about in this video, but overall, this is probably the best bag I've ever owned in my career so far, um, just in terms of size, how much you can carry in it, um, not needing to overload it but still getting what you need to get most jobs done i just find this bag has always been just the best thing for me really so this is why i'm doing a, a review on it and then at the end of this review i'm going to be actually retiring this bag despite the fact that it's so good but i'll explain why in more detail shortly but overall this bag is great and i'm going to show you why so this is the Velocity Rogue 2.0. I've got that side, I've got the back, I've got the other side, and then I've got the front. So I try not to keep too many things on the outside of it that could potentially fall out of the bag when I'm walking through customers' properties or um, fall out and get lost or scratch someone's wall as I'm walking up the stairs. Um, so try and keep things to a minimum on the external um, and I suppose also the more things that are visible the more chance you have of someone potentially stealing your stuff or wanting to steal your stuff um, but what we'll do we'll start on the side of the bag so I keep a stem thermometer this is from Regan this is just for doing hot water temperature checks and I keep a standard six millimeter drill bit for red plugs for just when I'm drilling into walls and fixing pipe clips and xyz so they just sit there on the side of the bag i'm going into this little side pocket it's not very big probably about i don't know six inches tall something like that um just got a zip on the front and then on the inside of that i'll just keep a few bits so i've got a little stabila pocket level little flat bit Got a little six inch backo or barco spanner, however you say it. That just sits in the side. Very rarely gets used to be honest, but it's handy sometimes when you need to get underneath a small little area like under a toilet um, to connect onto a, a fill valve or under a basin tap or something like that. It does come in handy. Um, we've also got a little monoblock spanner. This actually come with a tap many, many years ago. And for some reason I just kept it. And to be fair, it's actually quite handy. Um, it literally it was a free tool that come in a box um, and it's always just stayed in the bag for some reason. Um, got a little punch that can be handy sometimes. That just stays in there. That's a standy one. God knows how old that is. Um, we've got a little Weera Joker. This is an 8mm with the ratchet in end and then the open jaw end. Uh, that stays in there. I believe that fits the uh, drain off valves that just sits in there and then we've got the four in one uh, multi wrench so you've got five sixteenths three sixteenths three eighths and quarter inch um it's a pretty handy tool i don't use it very often but it is handy um fits gate valves and drain offs and all sorts of different things so that just sits in the side there you've got two separate pockets you've got like a neoprene stretchy pocket that I'll drop them bits into um, and then the bigger one on the outside I throw the spanner in and then also down the bottom I've got a little um, Weera impactor bit um, little quick release push up pull the bit out and then I've got some just a standard bit on there start a Phillips bit and then this is a Makita uh, magnet and that just helps when you're putting a screw on. It just keeps the screw on and it doesn't fall off. So when you're screwing a screw in and you don't want the screw to drop, that is brilliant. I think it's called a mag boost, but I can't remember. I bought it many years ago. Um, 
never lost it somehow and it's just it's been great so that just stays in there um, and that's it for the side so I'm just going to put all the tools to one side so I can show you when I'm done how many tools this bag actually carries which I think is just incredible for how small it is um, so that's that side on this side I keep the Weera um, adjustable ratchet in spanner this is the 19 to 24 so this does 15 mil nuts and they do do a bigger one i think 24 to 32 i believe it is that does 15 and 22 um this is just the, the 15 mil one um it is a good bit of kit it's quite expensive for what it is i think this is about 55 60 quid something like that uh, this is the joker 6004XL, don't know if you can see that. Um, it is a good bit of kit that just stays in the side there. I don't use it probably as often as I should, but it is a good, good tool. So that goes there. Got a couple of little carabiners, just quarter inch bits, just to hold any bits that you use often. Um, but to be fair, I don't really use them. And then that's the carabiner that come with the footwear muck guards. I put on my boots when I'm going in and out of customers' properties. I don't wear the little blue shoe covers, the plastic ones, because they just rip and tear and they're just awful. Um, I've got muck guards. I think I got off of Amazon for about 20 quid, 25 quid. And they're brilliant. Throw them in the washing machine, clean them at the end of the, the day or the week. Um, a, a lot of customers always say how good they are. This always gets noticed. And when people leave your reviews, it's always something that they mention that you protected their property and... You know, taking your shoes off isn't really an option. Health and safety and all that. Um, end of the day, if you're self-employed, you don't want to be injuring yourself by stepping on the nail or something. Um, and then just got a couple other bits. I've got a, a 6 mil and a 7 mil for red and brown plugs. They just go in there. Good bit of kit. And then on this side, we've got a, a pocket, which is a little bit bigger um, to put something in. Uh, I don't really know what this was designed for because, to be honest, all I had in here before was a spanner, an 8-inch Barco spanner that used to sit in the side and over the years actually punched a hole in the bottom. Um, that looks really dodgy. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't actually use that pocket for anything now because anything you put through it just falls out the bottom. So um, that's one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of this bag because I've got a hole in it and it annoys me. Um, from, one of the second reasons and main reason I'm getting rid of the bag is it does come with a shoulder strap and the shoulder strap has now broken probably about four months ago um, and it's just getting a bit too heavy and annoying just having to carry it from the, the handle on the top. It is a great handle, don't get me wrong, it's really thick, it's got the um, imprints for your fingers to go on and it grabs nicely but over the years where I've just overloaded this bag more and more because I've been lazy and just don't want to go back to the van so I just overload it. Um, I'm defeating the object of buying a small grab bag to go in and do the maintenance quick repair jobs um, and it's now just a little bit too weighty so and the sort of work that I'm doing um, bigger installs and working in properties you know walking far from the van and stuff like that not having a shoulder strap is just a pain so that's one of the main reasons why I'm getting rid of this bag um, but it is brilliant at the front we've got a bumper pocket inside that paste v2 plus jet lube joining compound this is amazing um i will never ever do a compression fitting without paste that's just me i know you don't have to i know olives will seal themselves but it's just something i've always done and i think personally every plumber should do it what's the point it takes two seconds to put a bit of paste around a fit in and then you're more likely to not get a leak. So it's just a no brainer for me. And then a 15 mil pipe slice. This is a Rothenberger one. Um, what I mainly use and have used for most of my career. I do have NERAD ones and Monument ones and used all different ones over the over my career. But I just I don't know, for some reason I always go back to Rothenberger for pipe slices. Could be wrong, but that's what I do. I think that is actually a bumper pocket made for safety glasses, but it's V2 paste and a, and a pipe slice i use them on pretty much every single job why not have them at the front and it's just an absolute perfect fit so that's just great and then inside the bag or actually before we go on the inside of the bag there's another little pocket here it's thin it's tiny i don't really know what you're supposed to put in there maybe some uh, warning notices or something like that but it's 
in my opinion, just a waste of a bag. Waste of space, sorry, not waste of a bag, waste of space. Anyway, in the front, voltage tester. This is a Fluke T90. Um, yeah, just making sure that you're not going to kill yourself, basically. This is a good little tester. Um, and then this is the bag. So, in my opinion, quite organised. Um, carrying just the essentials. Um, I run for it quickly. So, I've got an 8-inch Barco spanner. Standard, most plumbers will have one. I've got a pair of side cutters. These are CK ones. Um, they're really good. I've got two sets of olive cutters, 15 and 22 mil. These are the Ox ones. Um, I know Monument do ones and other brands, but these are ones I've had. I've had these for, I don't know, six, seven years maybe. Um, really good, still sharp, still cuts olive perfectly. So they're great. Rothenberger ratchet cutters. These are for cutting plastic pipe from 10 mil all the way up to inch and a half. Just ping that back. Ratchets down, cuts the pipe. Never had an issue. Um, it's not my first one since my career. I've probably owned three or four of these because the blades do eventually get dull or you use it to cut something that you shouldn't. And then I've had it before. I've put a large dent in the blade and then they're just rubbish. So um, they're a bit expensive for what they are, but they are great and um, save you carrying multiple different cutters. You can carry one set and you can do all plastic pipe with one. So that's why I use them. I've got the Weira set of uh, screwdrivers. These are the electrical insulated ones. So I've got a PZ1. I've got a terminal screwdriver, which is actually broken, um, which has upset me because now I feel like I have to, if I'm going to throw this one away, I've got to throw the whole set away because I'm a little bit OCD. Well, not a little bit, quite a lot. That's the flat. And that's the Phillips. And then we've got the Weira chisel driver. Um, so this one has got a metal lens. So this is basically just a bolster. Just use it to absolutely annihilate anything that's in my way. Wood, brick, anything you can think of. If I need it out of my way to get my pipe in, then that's what I'm going to do. Because plumbers rule. So that's a great bit of kit. And then I've got two Weira Joker spanners. Ratchet and spanners, 16mm and 17mm. 16mm I find is perfect for radiator tails when you're doing radiators. Um, that goes on the end of the nut, wind it in um, with your preferred method of sealing, whether that's glue or PTFE or Loctite 55. Um, and then 17mm is perfect for tack cartridges, um, gets them in and out perfectly. It locks on and you haven't got to worry about the, the spanner slipping off. That It's got so many teeth on it. It's just going to bite it and gets them out perfectly. So that's a great bit of kit. Back of the bag in the corner, keep a box spanner for doing bath back nuts, basin back nuts. And then inside that, in the bag, that way around, I sit two monoblock spanners for most kitchen taps that will fit and basin taps. Um, and that just tucks in there, back, back of the bag, and that's just great. Got a small pair of Nipex, these are the 180s, um, Nipex Cobras, probably the best grips on the market, just amazing. Um, that's the little version, 180. And then I've got the 250 version as well, they're my go-to grips that I use every single day. Great bit of kit. Got the flat jaw version, so if you're working on anything chrome or anything that you don't want to scratch, um, you can obviously use a spanner, which is that one, this is my thin jaw barco. Um, this is my go to spanner that I use every day. Um, great bit of kit. And then, if you need a bit more leverage, then you can go to the big 250 grips, get it on a on a square nut, and you know, you've got a nice bit of uh, leverage to open or close whatever you're working on. And then, this is the NERAD open jaw 15mm, 22mm open jaw spanner. This is amazing. Probably one of the cheapest tools in my bag, yet probably one of the best and quite possibly my favourite. Just I've never not been able to open or undo a compression fitting with this. You just get so much leverage on there. I just think it's great. And then I've got a little set of Weira Allen keys. I like these ones. They're colour coded and I've now memorised which colour's which in terms of size. 
So if I know I need to grab a two mil because I'm working on a specific shower valve, I know that it's the dark green without even needing to look at the sizes because maybe I'm a bit sad. But anyway, that's that. And that is the amount of tools that you can fit just in the inside of the bag. And we're still not even done yet. Got the little zip at the front here. Inside that, keep a 10 mil microbore pipe slice. I've got the rigid two in one pipe slice. So this does 15 mil and 22 mil copper. That's a good bit of kit that. Um, got a snap blade, um, telescopic blade. I use this for when I'm doing pipe lagging. I just find it's really good. Um, and they're cheap and expensive. When they break, you just grab another one. Um, and then also an olive puller. This is a good bit of kit as well. So sometimes I'm trying to use a olive cutter just doesn't work and you need one of these and it's got a quarter inch head on it. So you can put that in an impact gun, just drill off the nut and olive, doesn't damage the pipe. Great bit of kit. And then just quickly moving around to the back of the bag, it has got a another little compartment at the back. Um, and I've just sort of overloaded this bag now and crammed sort of bigger tools in that probably you shouldn't be doing. But I've got a pad saw in there, which is also a hacksaw. So it's a two in one, so it's got a hacksaw and a pad saw. Uh, doing plasterboard. I've got a big screwdriver opening pump heads um, and again just using it to smash anything in my way. Uh, keep a little pry bar, little hammer from Ox. This is looks just like a gimmick to be honest but this is amazing. I don't even use a normal hammer. This is all I use. I've ripped out four bar from Sweets just using this. Um, so it's just great. Uh, keep a little Stabila boat level. Um, great bit of kit standard really it's just a level um then i've got the rothenberger ratchet spanner for doing radiator tails um again tools like this you don't use every single day and this is why i'm trying to get away from this bag and sort of change a little bit um because not really space and it's not designed to carry bigger tools this thing but i've managed to work out a way of cramming a lot of stuff in that i don't i don't need little junior hacks or pair of wire strippers Good bit of kit, wiring up boilers, showers, whatever you're doing. Um, and then just a long extension bar for when you need to get into them places that a normal screwdriver can't reach. Great bit of kit. And um, all that fits in that tiny little bag. For me, one of the best bags on the market. And if anyone wants to know the finer details of this bag, it is a bag that is quite light, so empty, nothing inside it. You're looking one and a half kilos, so it's a very light bag. It's 430 millimeters tall, and it is uh, 160 mil in width and 230 millimeters in length. So it's a pretty compact bag, um, but still loads, loads you can get inside it. Back of the bag. We've got a padded section here, so when that's against your your sort of side of your body, your leg, um, it's not smashing into you and hurting you or anything like that. Um, like I said, I have massively overloaded the bag and crumbed it in, so it does have a Velcro bit there and it, it closes. Um, but obviously mine is never going to do that again um, because of how much I've put in there. Uh, but you do have that capacity so and capability to do that in this bag if you do want to use and abuse it a little bit then you can do um, and you can get them bigger tools in um, if you if you you know one that wasn't, doesn't want to go back and forth to the van all the time and you want to carry a hammer and a little level and stuff like that you can you can still do that with this bag so don't feel like you know this might not be the bag for you because you can't get certain tools in there is a lot you can get in here and I do an array of plumbing and heating work every day and I find that this this works well for me um, like I said not having a shoulder strap is is a bit of a pain now yes I could just order a new shoulder strap but it cost me about 15 pound but if anyone knows me then you'll know that I'm a bit of a tool addict and tool bag addict and something new comes out and I just have to buy it I have so many different tool bags um, mainly from Velocity and from Vito um, I've, I've got too many to even want to think about how much I've spent but this has always been the bag I've used and I've, I've had all sorts I've had bags double the price of this one and I use them for a couple of weeks and then they just end up in the cupboard and don't even get used um, so that is how 
much I I praise this. Um, if there was any negatives I had to say, the one that always springs to mind for me is the bag doesn't have a tape loop, which I just find mental. I can't believe when they created this bag they didn't put a, a clip on it anywhere. I mean, you can technically just bung it in there and clip your, clip your tape to it, but not having a dedicated like metal area to clip a tape to, I think is a, a big negative. Um, yes, you can carry the tape in your, in your pocket or anything like that, but uh, that's been a bit critical. Um, but apart from that, I think the bag's great. Um, and I would highly advise if you're looking for a bag that this is, this is a really good one for you. So you can get this on the Velocity Pro Gear website based in the UK. And uh, I think this is selling at the moment for about £115, I believe. So, and you can get it in, in the black, you can get it in orange, or you can get it in camo green um, or camo grey sort of colour. Um, so, which which looks nice. So, yeah, I appreciate everyone watching. If you've got any comments or is anything that you think I should have in my bag that I don't, um, or, you know, if you don't like the loadout for any reason, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I take on all comments, good and bad, um, and I appreciate any feedback. And going forward, I'm going to do some more reviews if this sort of video is liked by people of other bags that I have. Like I said, I do have loads and I have loads of tools. You know, this is just a small section of the tools that I have. I've got tons, so and they're all loaded out in other bags. So I'm going to do some reviews of other bags and hopefully it helps people out, um, helps you decide to what bag to buy when you're looking because that's what I do. When I'm online, I'm always looking on YouTube and, and video platforms trying to find how other people load their bags out uh, to get an idea of whether I want to buy that bag or not. And I've tried to be as detailed as I can on this so you can see exactly what you can get in there and how much you can carry. Um, so it can help you make a decision as to whether this is the bag for you. But for me, this bag has been great. So thanks for watching.